Hey, what's going on guys? Sonic Blue 100 here and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be playing some more Doki Doki Exit Music. Now, last time um, we had a nice adorable little thing with Natsuki's. We went shopping for some food, I think, and also went clothes shopping and my throat is really dry. I don't know why, it's, it's, it's extremely dry right now. And my clock is me an, an idiot. But, uh, yeah, last time I got a copyright claim. <laughs> One of the pieces of music uh, that we listened to last time, I think it was that started at 2 minutes and 58 seconds, if I remember correctly, actually gave me a copyright claim on the video, so if you see ads appear on the video, you know why, <laughs> and because um, at the time of me recording this, I'm not, I, I can't even get adverts, but uh, it didn't strike me or anything, so it won't affect the channel at all, it just, uh, it just kind of said, hey, anything, on, any money made off this video is from us. And it claimed claimed it. So, I, I even if I could make money, then if I could make money, then I wouldn't make it on that video. If I could, which I can't, then it doesn't really bother anything. Uh, the other option was just to remove it, and uh, it was supposed to be the day of upload for that, and I couldn't go re-render it that fast, and I couldn't just you know trim out that up because then it'd knock the audio out. So. In case I do get a claim, or not a claim, a strike, which will affect my channel, and I have to cut something out, if you just hear audio drop out for a little while, just expect it to be the music. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's go ahead and hop back into it. Um, I just realized I haven't clicked on it, so sorry for the black screen for there for a second. And that, why? I don't use you. Uh, let's resume. God, I haven't played in a while. Beep, 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 beep. I jerk away quick Natsuki as well. Oh my gosh, she's on my door. Oh, give me just I don't have my door, my gosh, give me it! Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. I forgot to turn my phone off. Now Ski lays back down and closes her eyes. It's fine, Mr. Room. I check my phone to see who tried to call me. Sari's mother? That can't be good. Uh oh. Found me out of bed, moving into the hall. I call back and ask if everything's alright. No, everything is not alright. She explains to me that Sari had a meltdown last night. She was hysterical, screaming that she wanted to die, that life is nothing but pain, nothing but seem seemingly endless suffering. Shows me that Sayori's been admitted to the hospital. Apparently, the two of them will be back in a few days. She also instructs me to check my mail. Apparently, Sayori came back last night to see us when, when we got back. Instead of knocking, she dropped a letter off. I wish, I wish Sayori and her well and hid downstairs. I can't believe this happened again. At the foot of the door, there's an envelope with my name on it. Oh my god. Tearing it open, I begin to read. Sayori. Oh god. Life isn't work, it's nothing but suffering. Day by day, my mind is fluttering. Thoughts of death, depression is rising. If I end up dead, it won't be surprising. I stare at a wall and think about this. I've been feeling this way since I was a kid. I stare at the knife, not that too messy. I think I have some pills, swallowed in vain. I think of a gun on my head I would aim. Oh my god. I would sleep sound and not have to take the pain and suffering I live through each day. I'm mentally exhausted from trying to keep up, but, that's, but all I want to do is sleep and never wake up. Holy crap. See, that's how you gotta read a poem. You gotta have the rhyme. You gotta have the stuff. So, okay, sorry. I, I shouldn't be talking about poems. I should be, you know, very concerned for Sayori. Um, also, I think this is gonna be the new permanent camera angle. Just because, I mean, it's not bad. And as you can tell, it's not that bright outside today. And you can tell my blinds are broken. And plus, I got this here. And if I move my head just slightly, you can see my bed. And depending on if I'm playing Zelda, then you can actually see my bed. But it, I like this camera angle better because it just doesn't show everything in my room. It just kind of shows the wall and the window. So, plus if I ever get a green screen, I can just plop it right there and pull it up and then it works. <laughs> oh god, I shouldn't be talking about this when it's here. I can't believe what I'm reading. Not again. I'm glad her mom took her... I'm glad her mum took her to... I keep looking over there. I think the camera's over there. It's over there. I think her mom... I'm, I'm glad her mom took her to the hospital. I know it's a note, but I'm back. I wish I was her. Oh god. I feel sick. I can't believe this. Now Ski walks up behind me. What's the matter? I wordlessly handed her the poem. Oh god. Now Ski's about to hand it back to me before she knows to scribble on the back. Wait, there's more. It takes her a second to process what it meant. She loosens her grip of the paper, letting it fall out of her hands. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. How does she even. No clue. We both stand in the doorway for a moment. Eventually, we both take a seat on the couch together. You should call. Maybe ask for mom. Ask her mom if she wants you to visit. That's a good idea. I'm bringing Sari's mother and she answers right away. I ask if Sari would like me to visit. According to her, she'd love it. I'll let her know that I'll be there as soon as I can. Looks like I'm going right now. You coming with? No, I don't really want to get involved. So you'll be okay here by yourself for a few hours? Oh, let's, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll just watch TV or something. I think I'll get my clothes washed. I've been wearing your stuff for two days now. All right, sure. 
I take my phone and key. I take my phone and my keys off the table. Why do I need key? Oh, oh, I was thinking, why do I need my car keys? I don't have a car. No, you need keys to your house and stuff. I nip around the cheek as I pass by your seat again. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. I lock the door behind me, heading to the bus stop. I barely make it to my stop in time. Oh my god, y'all. And we're back. It's like a heartbeat. This might be one of the songs I don't very commonly listen to. Alright then, it's only a short ride to the hospital. I enter through the emergency doors. Moving as quickly as is allowed, I find the reception desk and explain that I'm here to visit Sayori. They give me Sayori's room number. I quickly move to the mental health ring. I find her number and enter the room. Oh, wow. Um, I have went through the game files before, and there's um, a dark version of this room that was actually an unused asset. So, uh, after we finish the entire story and I'm talking, if I can remember this room, then I'll explain why it's unused, because I asked the creator why it was unused, and they actually told me um, why some <laughs> Sayori, oh, she's in her pajamas, Christopher, Sayori's mother leaves the room to give us privacy. I found your poem. I figured. Sayori, what's the matter? I told you I'm always here for you. Speak to me. Well, last night I wanted to, but all I could hear through the door was you. You and her laughing. It was like the two of you were laughing at me. Sayori, you don't understand. No, I get it. It makes perfect sense. Sayori, I, you know how much it hurts to see you so happy? To know that I'll never be needed? It feels like a knife being plunged in my chest, Christopher, over and over again. Don't pull a Yuri now. And I can't stand it anymore. Sayori, Natsuki's staying with me because... Oh, I should probably grab a screenshot in case that turns out to be a screenshot. Christopher, you don't need to rub it in. You're happy with her. You don't need me anymore. There's no point in hiding it. Just go. Siri, please just let me explain. Christopher, go away, please. Having heard the commotion, the nurse peeks her head through the door. She asks if there's a problem. Please just get him out of here. Siri, wait, please. Complying with the nurse's request to leave, I'm forced to make my way out, out my own way out of the lane. I'm escorted back to the reception area while I'm instructed to leave. Oh my god. As I'm walking down the street, Siri's words ring in my mind. I caused this. This is my fault. I can't believe this is happening again. I turn in the my, the corner to my stop, I watch the bus and speeds off. Thanks, myself! Gosh darn it. I begin to walk back to my house. Quiet. Alright. Took me a lot longer to get home than I thought. I opened my front door. Natsuki, you there? No answer. I checked downstairs, but she's nowhere to be found. Natsuki! Oh god, I hear I head upstairs and hear a noise come from the guest room. I gently open the door! Natsuki! Ah! YouTube! Oh god, YouTube's gonna get mad at me for this. <laughs> Make this the thumbnail. I'm not gonna say that I won't. Alright! As he punches me in the stomach, I'm strapping your towel in the process. Christopher, do you ever not? Sorry! Get out, pervert! <laughs> Sorry! I managed to get out know, before Natsuki slams the door in my face. Kneeling on my knees, I went, when did I gasp for air? It takes me a moment to collect myself and I get back to my feet. In the hallway, I repeatedly apologize to the door. Christopher, you gotta be more careful. You could have seen me. You know, I know, I know, it was an accident. I'm sorry, okay? You didn't need to hit me so hard, though. I wasn't sure if it was you until I'd already hit you. I'm sorry, too. Just please knock next time, okay? I will, don't worry. Now give me a minute to get ready. Sure, I guess I'll just be in my room. I retreat to my room and rape. While I'm sat at my computer, my phone pings from across the room. Picking it up, I see it's a text from Yuri. How would she get my number? Is this Christopher's number? It's Yuri. I have no choice but to reply. Yeah, it's me. What's up? Let me talk to you about what you saw yesterday. Oh, she means that. Dude, the music just said dull. <laughs> it just, it just, it gave up. I stare at it for a minute. She wants to talk about the cuts, or are you talking about your arms? She takes a moment of response, sending over a sizable paragraph. Yes, I was never given a chance to explain myself. Oh, this music. This isn't what got copyright claimed, is it? No, I know what got copyright claimed, and I know it appears one more time throughout the series, I think. Yeah, I think it'll appear one more time throughout the game. So, I'm gonna have to be more careful with how I word my sentences. Well, I'm gonna ask the questions then. Alright. You got yourself because you might be depressed. No, I'm not depressed. In fact, it's quite the contrary. The pain is what motivates me. It's so exhilarating. It's almost like a high. Then, how'd you start? Shakes her time writing out the response. Three pips indicating she's typing flicker one by one. 
Eventually her explanation comes as a large background. I've always had a morbid fascination with knives from when I was young. Before I started, I just collect them all, all different styles, engravings, colors. They really are beautiful. And well, when reading a book some time ago, the copy came up. I was only going to try it once to see what it felt like. It grew into a fully fledged addiction. I know, courtesy of Monica, that's not a good position to be in, but I can't stop. There's just something about the blade effortlessly slicing up in my skin that excites me. Such a thrill can't happen anymore. The sensation is too powerful. That's not healthy. This is something else. I don't even know what to do. But there's something nagging at my mind. Speaking of Monica, how'd she find out? Another few minutes pass. Another paragraph. It was one day after the club had ended, and more than two weeks ago. I don't even remember what I was doing at the time, but my sleeve slipped up and Monica saw everything. We spoke about it for a few hours. She even invited me to her house to talk in private. She tried to help, but I could, I could tell she cared, but nothing suge she suggested actually worked. After she had to shut down the Club Festival, she took it out on me. She assumed I was going to blame her, even though I really didn't think any less of her when she had no choice but to postpone it. All I said was that she should have tried to get in contact with everybody before the festival started. She didn't really take it well. She threatened me, telling me not to make a scene about the festival and the front of the rest of you should tell everybody about my arms. I was very shaken by what she'd said, not just because of what she what what she was, not just because of what she was threatening. Okay. I can't English. Also, if you haven't seen episode three, I think it is, is it three? I think it is. Where the Yuri and Monica stuff went down. Go check that out. That took a while to edit because there was so much stuff in there. That was that was fun. Okay, that was actually pretty fun. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to go check that out. I was very shaken by what's the uh, yeah, yeah, but because I'd never seen that side of her. And if I'm honest with you, Christopher, she scares me. Once again, I'm at, lo I'm at a loss for words. I don't know the full story I can approach it now. I hesitate. If anything, I just want to convince you to seek a professional help for yourself, help for yourself harm. If I have a say in it, this, that can't go on any longer. I see, and have you considered getting help? How can I convince myself to get help when I've been the best I've ever been? The best she's ever been. I don't think she understands what she's getting herself into, not to say that I fully do. Right. I can even ask you moving through the house, humming to herself. I've got to go. See you later. All right, Christopher. I'll speak to you another time in the club, perhaps. I just want to thank you for trying to help. Even if it won't change much, it shows that you care. It's my face. <laughs> I do care. Bye, Yuri. I send your final text throwing my phone out of my bed. Natsuki knocks on my door. Yeah, come in. See, it's not that hard, Christopher. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? Hmm. Oh, I know. You can carry my Parfait collection. My Parfait Girls collection home for me. So this is your home now, eh? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I just thought I could... You know, stay here. I'm a little worried I took my teasing too far. I'm gonna say no to her. Well, of course not. To you. I was only trying to teach you. Now that you mentioned your thing, you might actually need this. Turn me in my bedside drawer. I'll run them through it first so I can look at first about Hawksky. My phone beeps and Natsuki beats me to checking it. Uh oh. Open the message. Natsuki recoils, dropping my phone to the floor, disgusted. Hey, watch it! As I go to pick up the phone, I see for myself what it's sick of Natsuki. It's a picture of y Yuri. She's sitting on her bed. Her scarred arm is covering what's otherwise her bare le. Yuri, what are you doing? <laughs> I did not agree to this. Uh, she's wearing a purple bra, a small crimson heart drawn on the list of her with a red marker. Or at least I hope it is. Oh my god. Oh my lord. No, 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 no. I leaned this way because I thought the camera did it. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. I don't know how to respond. Closing my messages down, I throw my phone back onto my bed. Natsuki's in distraught. Christopher, what the hell was that doing on your phone? I, I, I don't know. And her arms? The heart? We, we were talking about her arms before. I told her to get some help, but she wasn't listening to me. Natsuki, I promise you I didn't say anything to encourage her and send something like that to me. I retrieve my phone from the bed and show Natsuki a message regarding her arms. I perfectly keep the message regarding Monica hidden as I don't want Natsuki to jump to conclusions. She's as confused as I am. So what, did you hold the phone up? Did you hold on? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna use the back side. But did you hold the phone up like that and covered the message? So, like, she couldn't see? I don't know. She's confused as I am. Yuri, she needs serious help, clearly. But why'd she send that to you? Be open about this with you. Well, I saw her arms yesterday. As before, I omit Monica from the incident. She told me not to tell anyone, so I didn't, because I didn't know what the hell else to do. Christopher, you know we're gonna have to talk to her about this. It's not healthy to be like that. It doesn't help that she clearly gets off doing it. There must have been something, something in her head that made her think this was okay. I've known Yuri for as long as I've been at the club, and yeah, she gets overly attached the moment anyone shows her attention. I hate to say that, but it's true. But holy crap. I've never seen anything like that before. Well, we'll talk to her the next chance we get, okay? Alright, Christopher. Um, before I forget, I take this for Housekeep from my district handed to Natsuki. To my surprise, Natsuki's mood complete, seems to completely shift. She pauses for a moment before jumping into my arms. Praise her for... <laughs> Thanks. 
You're the best boyfriend ever. Is this world's escape Natsuki mouth? She jumps back. That was the first time she's called me that. Can't help but smile. Hearing her call me that made the text with Yuri, Monica, argument, Yuri, Monica's argument, everything melts away. They didn't matter. The more time I spent with Natsuki, the more frequently I felt this way. Wa waking up next to her, reading with her, hearing her telling me she loves me, feeling her arms wrapped around me. I never thought I'd feel this way about someone. Natsuki, you're the best girlfriend I could have ever asked for. You're just saying that, aren't you? No, Natsuki. I'm not just saying that. I love you more than words can let me describe. I... So it's official then? Y yeah. I guess so. I love you so much, Christopher. Good God! Was this one week and we just went from full-on nothingness to, uh... Pfft. I pull Natsuki close to me, holding her tight. She pulls back for a moment and stares at me. I lift her chin up and kiss her. <laughs> Natsuki's burning his face in my chest again, squeeze me as tight as you can. I never want to stand. The two of us stay locked in this embrace for it feels like an eternity, but in reality, it probably only lasts a few minutes. Just as we're separating the door openings. You wanna get that? I nod. Oh god. Natsuki heads back to the bathroom and I head downstairs. I wasn't expecting any visitors today. I appear through the people. It's Monica waiting patiently for an answer. How does she know where I live? <sighs> Monica? Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> Monica? What? This is not just Monica. <laughs> oh god. I crack open the door and slip outside. Hi, hey, Christopher. Oh, hey. Shouldn't you be at school? Shouldn't you? What do you want? To apologize for the past few days. I was a Well, I wasn't very nice to anyone. I've just had a lot going on this past weekend. Sorry doesn't fix everything. I know. I just need to tell you something. And this doesn't excuse my actions. What is it? I told my parents about the festival. They told me how disappointed they were in me. They think that I have no control over my club. The fact that I couldn't get four people to show up on a special day like that. Christopher, they've only ever expected the best from me. There's a reason I always try to be so perfect all the time. So I've been so harsh this week. I was just trying to control things that I shouldn't. Monica, what about Sayori? You saw her poem. I lowered my voice a little. You knew he was a suicide now. Oh my god. For the record, Christopher, I didn't. I was worrying, sure, but I never interpreted it as that. She ended up confessing everything to me over a text on Wednesday. Still. It's okay if you don't accept my apology, Christopher. I understand. I was heartless. I said things I don't think I'll ever be able to take back. I know that. I can't say that I forgive you from what you've said and done to all of us. Especially what you did to Yuri. I, I, I know. Seeing your perspective, I think I'm willing to give you a second chance. That's all I needed. My front door opens. Oh, there you are. What the hell are you doing here? Christopher, why is she here? Natsuki, she's here to apologize. Wait. What are you doing here, Natsuki? Th that doesn't matter! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Of all the people to find out, there's something going on between you two, isn't there? I need to change the subject. Monica, we accept your apology. Hey, speak for yourself. We'll see you to the club later, okay? I slowly answer the door shut, but Monica resists. Ah uh ha -huh, not yet. You didn't answer my question, Christopher. My brain goes blank. I'm panicking eternally. I don't want her to know about Natsuki and I for fear of interventing, but I also don't want Natsuki to be offended by a lie. I'm going to! This is the first choice in the game! This is the first choice, isn't it? Um. Well. I'm just gonna say it now. It doesn't matter what choice you pick. You're gonna go down the same path anyway, so I'm gonna tell the truth. Well, Natsuki and I were dating. Don't worry, we'll keep it out of the club. I promise. Hope so. I can't bring myself to be Monica's eyes. The whole situation is so embarrassing. Ha uh, Christopher, your face is so red. So is yours, Natsuki. You two are pretty cute together. I am not. <laughs> oh my god, that might actually be the screen draw right there. I don't know. I mean, clearly Christopher thinks so. She's right, you know. Shut it! Can we please just change the subject? Yeah, I'd love to. Well, Monica, I'm still mad at you for the horrible things you said to all of us. Good, I deserve it. You mad at me all you want. I came here to let Christopher know how terrible, how terrible I felt about all of this. And well, you too now, I guess. Do you really mean it? Or is this all just a ploy to get us to the club again? Well, both. I started the club so everyone can have a nice place to read and discuss literature. And they can help make friends. I don't want that destroyed. Just like I don't want our friendship to be destroyed. Christopher, do you believe her? I stopped for a moment thinking it over. Can Monica really expect me for, to forgive her after, after what she just said to Sari and did to Yuri? Can I actually do it? I mean, considering her explanation, I feel kind of sorry for the pressure she's being put under. That doesn't take away from what her outburst did, and I'm certainly not about to forgive it or forget it, but so long as it doesn't happen again, I think I can. 
Well, yeah, I do. Especially after what she told me. Okay, well, I'm gonna trust Christopher on this one. I guess we'll see you at your club later, then. Thank you, I promise no more outbursts. There better not be. Monica tries to leave the south herself. Um, Christopher, do you know Sarah's home? I'll come find her at school. She's the last one of you I need to apologize to, and isn't, she has an extra her calls. Uh, I'm not sure. You can knock if you want, it's worth a try. Right, thank you too again. And I'm sorry. See you later. As Monica walks away briskly and knocks the rules on my sleeve, let's go back in. <laughs> let's go back in. I open the door and head to the kitchen. Alright. That's where we're gonna start. Uh, stop. And main menu, and yes, because that's a 20 minute session. That is good enough for today's video. Holy crap. Oh, God. Alright, so, a lot has happened in this video. And we are currently making our way towards the, uh, I think we're about midway, almost midway. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this might actually become the first series <laughs> to pass 10 episodes on the channel. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, for, or not 10 episodes, shoot. Might be the first Doki Doki series to pass 10 videos on the channel. So, <laughs> yeah. If you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to slap that like button. It really helps out and tells me that you have more content like this. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, as uh, I would really appreciate it. And it would help grow the channel as well. Um, make sure to share the video with your friends and family to, you know, just, uh, these my days, and what am I trying to say here? I'm, I'm out of it. To uh, help get the video spread, and uh, I don't know, comment down below some about your day. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you dudes next time. Goodbye for now, my friends.